It's Jilly here from to do at home.com. Some of you will know I've been making these hand-bound journals for many years now. I also teach people how to make these journals both in person in my workshops and online. Now the biggest bugbear for me in making these is piercing the binding holes in the signatures. In case you don't know, a signature is what you see here. These are the pages usually made up of four sheets of paper folded in half and nested into each other. Now in this one there are, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, five or six signatures there. However, these signatures are only made of two sheets of paper instead of four because I used very heavyweight watercolour paper for this and four sheets of paper would have been too much to have nested into each other. So in this one the signatures are made up of four sheets of paper folded up and then nested into each other and it's each of these signatures that you have to bind to the covers to make your art journal or your album or whatever you're making. So all the holes have to be pierced evenly and accurately and that actually is quite difficult. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you the way that I used to do it and I'm going to show you the way that I do it now because it's much easier. You've just seen me put one signature together and here you see two signatures stacked together and in this album there are five signatures that have been bound in and all of the pages that make up those signatures had to have binding holes pierced in them in exactly the right places which can be really tricky so what I normally do with my albums is pierce the holes in the covers first the front and back covers and then I put my signatures in between the front and back covers and use the holes that I've already done in those covers as a guide for marking where the holes need to go in the signatures and then what you end up with is a stack of signatures with marks on the spines like this so it's a, a guide to show you where to put the piercing tool and this part can be quite a laborious process and I don't really enjoy this very much and also if you don't get your pages straight like I haven't got them straight here they're slightly fanned out if you don't realize that by the time you've pierced your first hole and you go on and pierce the other three holes then your your signatures are going to be a little bit skewy so get ready to see another method of piercing the binding holes in your signatures where you don't have any of those problems. This is the book binding cradle that I bought on Amazon that addresses all of those problems. Now this cradle is made by a company called Time to Create and the company is based in the UK but the cradles are sold on Amazon.co.uk and Amazon.com for people who are in North America. And I will be putting links on my blog, which is www.funcraftstodoathome.com. This is a superbly crafted product, and it will make a huge difference to your bookbinding workflow. For example, have a look at this signature that I pierced the old way. And I'm just going to do a close-up here and show you that I didn't even get the binding hole straight through the fold exactly in the middle so this cradle addresses that problem here I'm using a template which I will show you how to make um, in a second very very easy to make you just put the template that's already got the holes in it on top of your signatures and you just pierce through straight through the fold accurately 
through all four pages in the signature at once and then you just do this with all your signatures and because the signatures are lined up with the back of the bookbinding cradle you know that they're all the signatures are going to have the binding holes in exactly the right place isn't that fantastic it's so much quicker and much more accurate than the old way that i used to do this the next thing i need to show you is how to make the little template that i used this all you do is you get a piece of paper which is the same height as the journal that you were making and then you fold it in half down the middle lengthways and then you fold it in half again crossways and then you just keep folding it in half like this obviously I'd already folded mine but um, keep folding it in half and then what you end up with is this center line with junctions at which you could put your piercing holes I've chosen to use these particular ones because I wanted four holes but you could put two and two you could put three holes basically whatever you want okay so this is just a glimpse of what my next video is going to be about I make these art journals which is a bit different to the journals that you saw at the beginning of this which are blank these journals that I make are made from my paintings and I'm going to be showing you how I how I create these pages and then how I bind them together to make art journals that I can doodle in or um, add pictures to anything anything you want they're just brilliant journals to have around and they're really really good fun to make I mean I've got I've got loads of these I think I'm just a little bit addicted to making art journals so what I'm gonna do is just take you through the techniques I use to get these pages and it's a quick technique you can make lots of pages quite quickly so if you wanted to make lots of albums you can so I'm just going to show you how I put the albums together because unlike the ones that I've just shown you the blank ones which are made of signatures and as I said the signatures have four pages in each one these ones are single pages that I use so they're not nesting in each other they are just single pages that are folded and I have found my own way to bind them. Now this, this album that you see here is already bound and the paints that I used to, to create this album came from Poundland. Now I think I bought about seven quid's worth of stuff in Poundland including the card that I used to make this album because I wanted to set out to do a project to prove that you could go into somewhere like Poundland with less than a tenner and make something like this. Now of course the paints were pretty awful but I did use them and I did make an album and in the video I also show you how I bound it. Now this one is made with um, more expensive paints and you will see it's got no binding and I will be doing a video at a later date of how to make an album like this where you don't even need to pierce any holes because there is no binding so watch out for that video too I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and while you're there hit the bell icon which means you will get notifications of all my new videos well thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now